Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Timmy Kenza James. Sorry I've been MIA on you for a while. I'm back now. I've sorted out whatever it is that made me not to be around. So I'm back now, guys. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute little barret. You can see on me. This is lovely and I love it. So for you to do this, you're going to be needing a pattern, which I have my cardboard here, which I'll be using as my pattern paper. You can use a pattern paper or whatever you have. Then you'll be needing a marking pen, a pair of scissors, a tape, the fabric which you'll be using, and a ruler. This fabric is actually um, uh, it's actually from my previous project, and it's from my Ankara collection, Timikens and James on Instagram, and Timikens and James on Facebook. I have really lovely prints where you can purchase from so i'll be linking uh i'll be dropping my instagram and my facebook links on the description box below and also be dropping my number where you can contact me to purchase this fabric or any ankara print of your choice i have a wide range of prints you can pick from so guys let's get into the tutorial proper so guys you need to take the measurement of your head so you put the tape like so across your head like so as you can see you just take it across your head like this that's all you need to do so mine is actually 22 inches so that's what i'm going to be using so first off i'm going to measure 12 inches so if you want the beret to be bigger or smaller, you can add or reduce to that 12 inches depending on how big you want the beret. So from here, from the starting point here, I'm going to be marking 12 inches like so. So from the starting point of the cardboard, I'll be marking 12 inches like so. Then I'll mark 6 inches, that's the midpoint of the 12 inches. So on this 6 inches, I'm going to mark another 12 inches upwards, like so. So I just want to create a square, actually, nothing much. So I'm going to mark 6 inches again, just to find the midpoint. So I'm taking another 6 inches, like this. So this is actually my midpoint right now. So from these 6 inches, I'm going to be marking 6 inches round. So what I'm trying to do is just to get a 12 inches long circle. So I'm just marking 6 inches like that. I'm just going ahead to mark six inches round from the midpoint here. So by the time I'm done, I'm just going to go ahead and connect those dots. Just to round it nicely. It's actually very, very easy to make. So there you go. So now I'm going to, I'm just going to go ahead and insert the radius of my head right now. So I'll be calculating it like so, which my radius is 22, but I want it to be really tight on my head. So I'm using 21. So it's going to be 21 divide by, divide by 6.28. To find the radius of my the circumference of my head so i'm just going to do that and then i'll 
come back with that so it's going to be three about three inches so i'll be marking that three inches like so also from the midpoint i'll be marking the three inches also like so When I'm done, I'm just going to go ahead and trace it out, just like I did. You can actually use a compass to do this, but I don't have any at the moment. So this is it. So, at the moment, this is our pattern, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out. So this is what we have. This is it. This is what we have. So I'm going to cut three pieces of this. I'm going to cut this into three panels. When I cut it into three, I'll come back to cut all. I can just cut this middle piece out as well. It will, it will, it will still be all right. the middle panel out just keep this aside so this is this is our panel so i'm just going to go ahead and cut this out i have my fabric here so what i'm going to do is to fold this into three this to be easy for me so I'm just going to go ahead and cut Just doing this on my sewing machine so that you know that it's really easy to do it's not something that requires so much um work
so this is it guys you can see this is it so i'm not going to take this out because i'll just take one piece out i'll just take out one piece then leaving the two piece pieces on the panel like this i have two other panels of it so i'm just going to open this side Just going to go ahead and cut open the midpoints. So I have only two panels here left. So I'm just going to mark that out using my my marker pen. Just going to mark the center piece like so. Then. I'll take out the panel and just cut out. I'm just going to go ahead and cut out my that center point. So this is where my head is going to fit in. So here we go i have two panels here i'm just going to keep this aside so this is what i'm going to do so this is the main bodies of my barrette then these two so guys i've gone ahead to to fuse this piece i just used a light fusing here i added another fusing interfacing a harder one to a thicker one let me say to this piece then i cut out a lining piece like so for this one so this will make the overall lining for this um beret so i'm going to pick the one with the lighter fusing together with the one with the barrette and with the um, lining of the beret and keep aside then i'll grab the two pieces i fused this one also so you can see this part then this part i'm going to match right sides together switch on my sewing machine then i'm just going to sew round this piece like so i'm just going to make sure everything is properly set then i'll go ahead and sew using quarter of an inch sewing allowance to sew round the beret so any excess that you have there so i'm just going to sleep in between my seam so very close to my seam but i'm not cutting it through like so then i'm going to go ahead and press this you can see this is what we have 
so i'm just going to go ahead and compress this seam like so just to give it a nice press so that by the time i turn this over it will look nice so you can see this is it but before i turn this over i'm just going to try to find the midpoint of this um beret so i'll fold it like so in four quarters so by the time i have this I'm just going to make a very very tiny cut across that center point it has to be really tiny so you see that's just to pass the hoop of the beret through it but if you don't want the hoop maybe you want to add a button you can just ignore this process so I'm just going to go ahead and iron it then I'll come back to show you Going ahead to iron it the same open so on this hole that i made i'm going to pass this i just made a tiny hoop like so i'll just bend it in half and pass it through that hole that i cut earlier on the center piece just going to pass that from the right side out here on the wrong side like so you can see so i'm going to sew to just close the hole back and hold that that seam is actually not going to be visible so you don't even have to worry about it because it's definitely not going to be visible so i'll just go over it again to ensure that it's nice and locked then cut out the excess from the loop like so so there you go by the time you turn over your beret you're still going to be ironing it so there you go it's beginning to look like a hat right a, like a hat right so this is the first step so now you're going to go over the lining piece so for the lining i'm going to grab this like this match this then i'm going to get pins i'll just match this and sew it round you should pin them down so guys i've gone ahead to pin my beret like this so i'm just going to round just to connect that is the lining piece of the beret facing so that's the piece I'm just going to be sewing round make sure to take out a pin so that your machine needle does not climb on it that would be highly disastrous for your machine so also using about quarter of an inch or less to just join that round so now it's because of this reason why i took out you know i measured my head round and it was 22 so i had to cut 21 so that by the time i sew this and when i'm done sewing this it would to make 22 which will fit me so you're supposed to take out an inch when cutting that center part that's when finding the radius of the circumference of your head so this was the reason why i did that so that it can be nice and snug around my head So you're doing this they'll just ensure that everything you don't want any excess at any point so make sure that everything comes round nicely both on the lining piece and on your main fabric so that you don't have any 
fold that looks ridiculous anywhere and also you want to make sure your sewing allowance are even so by the time i'm done i'm just going to go ahead and snip before i turn it over i'm just going to cut through my seam like so in such a way that it does not cut through this this the seam line i'm just going to cut through it like so I'm done I'm just going to turn this over like this you can see so this is meant to go in like so but you can see this side is still open so that's where this lining piece comes in so I'm just going to bring out this part again then I'll sew I'm going to sew this round that part of so i'm just going to sew this but i will make sure i don't close it so that i'll get space where i can turn over my lining so on the right side i'm just going to go ahead and This is something you can actually do within 20 to 30 minutes and it doesn't need too much professionalism so it doesn't matter if you're a beginner to sewing you can still do this as long as you can work on your machine if you, if you even have the patience you should be able to do this with um, just your needle and thread that's if you have a patient the patience to do so i'm not a very patient person so i might not be able to do that so by the time i'm like three or four inches close to my start off point here i'm just going to stop sewing from there and back stitch from there i'll that space is just for me to be able to turn over my hat so i'm just going to finish that off by hand either just fold it nicely carefully and run that on your machine like so let me show or you finish it off by hand or you do this by machine so you just sew along the edges like that you fold in the raw edges inwards then you're just going to sew just look carefully at what I'm doing. I'm just taking this part in like so. I'm just tucking in the raw edges. Let me say all oh, my seam allowances. I'm just tucking that in and sewing very close to And do that with your hand your hand as well 
so whatever method you prefer is totally fine so you can see everything is nice and concealed Here you go this is our cup so what you do now is to go ahead and just place this like this and iron it properly just go ahead and keep this down like so and iron it properly tucking in all the lining pieces in so I'm just going to go ahead and do that off camera and come back to show you guys this is our beret this is what it looks like this is nice and beautiful the inside is clean you can see so i'm just going to try it on so i'm taking this off and you can see it's nice and snug on my head so guys this is the finished look of our beret look at it you can style it this is the finished look of our beret this is what it looks like behind this is it guys i'm feeling this beret and i love the color i hope you enjoyed watching this video and please don't forget to tag me in all your recreations i would love to see them thank you so much guys for watching if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up share this video with your friends subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever i have a new video up on my channel See you in my next video, guys. Bye!